begin with looking at the patient from the front for the normal carrying angle, from the side for any flexion deformity. The posterior aspect of the elbow is inspected for obvious scars, swellings, rashes or signs of olecranon bursitis or rheumatoid nodules or psoriatic plaques. And again, the medial aspect should also be inspected. Temperature is assessed by comparing adjacent sites. The olecranon process lateral and medial epicondyles should be palpated for tenderness. I ask you to straighten your elbows out as far as they'll go. Full extension and full flexion should be assessed actively along with pronation and supination. Over and back again. I'm just going to do that myself. These should also be assessed passively while holding the joint and feeling for crepitus. Here, excessive extension, i.e. hypermobility, may easily be detected. During pronation and supination, the radial head and joint line can easily be identified. And finally, can you just put your hand to your mouth? Function can be assessed by asking the patient's ability to perform a relevant task.